what it's really all about in education. I've learned a lot of things. First, I've learned that there's certainly no lack for vision in public education. Everybody has great ideas. Everybody has a vision of what we want to see happen. I think the breakdown comes in translating that vision into action. And as I've traveled, there's so much discussion about how do we make things happen right now for our students. And I realize that this conversation is actually also going on on the other side of the world. In, in China and Japan, they don't have it all figured out either. They had a lot of questions for me about how do you help students become original thinkers? How do you engage students with special needs and learning? How do you meet the individual needs of students in very large classrooms? I mean, we're all working on and struggling with the same issues, and we all have the same goals for our students, and that's to prepare every single one of them to really be successful in our society. So I see a lot of common themes, but a lot of work to be done in terms of the action piece and actually making it happen. My best advice, you know, just like I told him this morning, you gotta have that love and you gotta have that energy. Those really are the number one and number two things that you need as a teacher. Everything else, the planning and the organizing and the testing and the skills, you find ways to manage that. You, you pick up tips. But if you don't have that fundamental love for what you're doing, the students will know it and you will know it. And our students deserve the best. They deserve, deserve people who are really willing to invest their, their whole heart and their energy in education. And as long as you have that enthusiasm, everything else works itself out over time.